Hey guys, mambo vipi? Uh, leo nataka tujifunze kuhusu language moja ni Golang. Go ni language ambayo imetengenezwa na Google. Uh, haina miaka mingi sana, haifiki hata miaka 10 nadhani. Um, it's very powerful. Uh, ina market sana sasa hivi na inaweza kuandika anything you can it's a, it's a, it actually wao wametengeneza mwanzo kama systems language lakini you can also write web apps kwa kutumia golang um, leo nimekuwa nikijifunza hii language hivi karibuni imekuwa ikinivutia like nimekuwa interested nayo kwa hiyo nikasema sio mbaya kama nikijaribu tena kushare like a small thing something small ambayo pia nimejifunza na ambayo kutokana na jinsi ninavyoendelea kujifunza pia naweza ikana nikawa naendelea kutengeneza screencasts ambazo nitakuwa na share na, na watu vitu uh, tips kidogo um leo nataka nijaribu kutengeneza a markdown renderer kwa kutumia go ni, ni inavyofanya kazi ni kwamba inakuwa kuna kuna form pale unakuja unaweka una, markdown content zako and then you submit zinatengeza inakutengenezea html um tuta hitaji uh, mambo mengi sana ni just one file ya go na some html na css in javascript css in javascript ni optional you don't need them lakini kwa sababu mimi mimi ni by, by nature mimi ni designer nilianza kuwa designer kabla sijaanza kuwa programmer kwa hiyo i napenda sana vitu vikubwa vinaonekana vizuri hata kama ni ni kwenye mazoezi. Kwa hiyo um, tutaanza hiyo project yetu sasa hivi na kwa sababu nimeshatengeneza mafolder so folder structure yetu ile tayari ipo. Kwa hiyo let's just go and start writing some code, okay? So ndani ya hii project ndani ya hii folder kuna folder nyingi ndio public ambayo ndio hii hapo. You can see it. Ndani ya public folder kuna file CSS index na javascript so tukifungua index yetu tukifungua index yetu just go back uh, a bit so tukifungua index yetu uh, hapa utakuta kwamba it's just basic uh, it's just a basic html um headline generate markdown will go uh, it's a form which is posting to this route and the method is post okay and this is just a name, it's just a text area here text area it class form control not necessary sana but name is body and column blah, blah blah so this is what we are going to actually render into html this body thing here kwa hiyo you should just keep that in mind okay okay so um i'm going to write to create our first file the main file dot go so i just say main dot go there and now when you go ni lazima utengeneze uh well is it you have to lazima specify package name lazima specify the main function which is ndio kama entry point ya program yako na kama kuna some uh, libraries una import lazima u specify u import them unaweza kama ni moja you can just import them kwenye one line lakini kama ni nyingi unaziwekea tu kwenye ndani na parentheses sawa so, okay so let me just show you guys okay so package main and import sawa so, sasa so, so, tunataka tu import nini tunataka tu import a net.htt i mean not net http library ambayo ndio itatumia kwa ajili ya, ya mambo yote ya web nataka tu import ya package moja package moja inaitwa black friday i'll show you guys where it is uh, black friday uh, it's uh, basically this project here uh, this is the, the path to the project github i can just copy this or i can write there manually okay so net http this is just in the standard library ago we, we don't need actually to uh, to get it from some, somewhere else it's just there in, in the library and we are done with the import okay you can notice kwamba niki save to my editor in any in the format visually code design so i love this code editor editor because it's just one of the things that does okay 
um, let's write our main function now func main and then we have to de to define our routes now we have to s define our our functions which uh, uh, our routes are going to be so what you, you do you use the http uh, packages uh, fu handle func function to handle this route so we just say http dot handle func uh, like that and then you can okay, put you when you first line there you see handle func function it takes a uh, sorry it's called handle func sorry http handle handle func this is the function it should always take the pattern and the handler function this handler function should always take two parameters. One of them is the response writer, and the next one is the uh, pointer to the request object. Okay, so first our pattern, which is uh, markdown. You can see this path corresponds to the post route in the form there, the one that I showed you earlier. And then we have to pass in to create a function here, which is going to actually take two parameters the HTTP response writer and the pointer to the request object you see the pointer is because you know at the, at the top there the request object has a star there the star means it's a pointer okay so response okay so instead of writing this function there we can actually just write a named function because otherwise you could just write a named function a anonymous an, an, an anonymous function but I prefer actually naming my function. So let's just create a name, net function. Uh, call it generate HTML. Okay. So we, did, I mean, the logic for this function will be at the bottom. And then we also need to handle, to write the, use the HTTP handle function, which is also going to take, uh, this one is going to actually help us define our public, I mean, like our static files location. So it's called handle handle and it also takes a pattern and a string and then a handler so the pattern is just this one and then we just say http file server um http dot directory we have to specify which directory is the public directory and then the last one we just need uh, a listen and save function so it's http dot listen and save this one it takes an address and a handler so the address is always the first line is the port so we use the, we're going to use the port number 4000 and you just need just pass it now we don't need to any other function there okay so this is the basic of our function i can just go and delete that part there because i don't like it right now so handle func takes a pattern and a handler a handler is a function that we are in the, the one there we call generate HTML. So this handler function it needs to be implemented. So here is the implementation. func generate HTML. Uh, like I said, it takes two parameters, the response writer and the pointer to the request object. So response HTTP dot response writer writer plus the request object pointer sorry http dot request like that and then here is our logic so so we need to get the value that gets posted from the from the form so we just say markdown uh black friday dot common markdown common and then this one you can see it takes a byte slice byte slice and then request dot form value um, which is the body okay you can see the form value takes a key which is a string okay and then after that we just need to respond by writing this markdown okay so this is basically it we don't need anything else only that uh, this is not very necessary because 
but it's very good to do to, it's a good practice and i have noticed when i try to impl to deploy something like this on heroku when you try to uh, deploy a web, a web app maybe let's say you write a web app in express and you specify the port that your express app is going to listen to heroku is going to complain because it doesn't want you to actually manually de 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 i mean define the route i mean the port that it should use it prefers you actually use you just let it i mean pick which port to use so that's why actually we i think we also need the os package here and then we can just say port equal to os dot get env get environmental variable for the port like that uh sorry and um just a, a little logic here if port is empty then we set the port to maybe 4000 like the like the one that we defined there 4000 um just formatting a bit and here we can just uh delete this and say just append the port here like that so you can see this one is okay and um this is our function this is our function which handles all that request that we need and generates a html from our markdown that we are going to post from the body of the function of the form so this body here this body here it actually is this one here let me show you body you see line 8 body this is the board that we, we are talking about so this is going to be the value that gets posted it's going to be the value that this is a parameter that gets posted from the form and our our black friday is going to capture that as a value and then going to render this with the response okay so after that maybe we just need to test our app and see if it's actually working or not right okay so i'll go back here and i just say go run uh, main dot go it's just a simple way of running it with, because go is a compiled language we could actually just compile it and run it i'll show you how to do it so if i just say go run and it's not complaining that means we should go to port 4000 localhost and get to see our markdown i mean our page there so what we can do now is we can actually go to here copy this thing here or maybe i just copy some go code yeah i prefer doing that anyways i prefer doing that um uh, we may not go i just copy this code and and I'll paste this code in our form there. So this is going to be go. Go long. Paste. Wow, it's not pasting. Huh. Okay, let's just copy some other things. Let's just copy this. Sorry. So this is just a. Uh, I'm so I, I'm not very good with the mouse so it's just difficult for me okay so this is a title I say I mean it's a headline so maybe we just need to append something like that and submit see this is now a HTML with the head h1 tag and this is just a paragraph we are good okay so another way we could run this thing is we we could just actually let's end this we just say go so we go build main and then once we do, we're done with building you see it's going to create a file called main it's an executable and then we can just run it like this and we're good that again we can just go to our port 4000 and it's still running okay thank you guys next time